Hi there, I'm Rebecca and I'm... Thank you. Hi there, I'm Rebecca and a really warm welcome back to my channel, Pumpkin Becky. This week's video is... Hi there, I'm Rebecca and a really warm welcome back to my channel, Pumpkin Becky. In this week's video, we're going to be opening a woof box with Katie, the miniature dachshund, who is being a little monkey right now. <laughs> Let's get started. Katie has a wonderful toy box filled with Frankenstein's monsters of toys that she has semi-destroyed and we have sewn back up again. Some toys last a lot longer than others. She seems to like chewing the eyes off things, which is really weird. Or if it's got a squeaker or a ball or something hard inside that she can really get her teeth into, then she will destroy it and stuffing everywhere. So we spend a lot of time re her toys and removing the stuffing and replacing it with fleece or something that she's less likely to try and eat. So I thought we might treat her to maybe a monthly subscription box and I decided after having a good old look round that we'd go with Woof Box. And this is not a sponsored video. Um, it's $24.99 for a box and you tell them what breed your dog is, um, what they weigh, any dietary requirements so I said no grains and what else did I say no wet food just in case I mean I think they only send treats out but yeah we don't feed Katie anything raw or wet so no point in that $24.99 is the price of a one-off box uh, if you do a subscription then it is a little cheaper and depending on how long the subscription you go for, it becomes increasingly cheaper per box. It should be a mixture of toys and treats and maybe chews. So without further ado, let's open the box. Oh, Katie, she's so ready to play. What's this? Is it for you? What do you think? What do you think? Should we open this one? Uh -huh. okay. How's that going to help you? Oh, okay, so, Katie, uh -uh. monkey, <laughs> pretty pink tissue paper, ooh, <laughs> there's a really cute lamb, a curly pet soft dog toy, squeaky soft fabric, Playtime fun. That's what it says. Ah, ah. Wait. Okay. Wait. Yes. I think the fluff is not going to last terribly long on this. She also really likes labels, so as well as trying to bite faces off things, she also goes for the labels. I've already got fluff coming off this. Katie, wait. Sit. Yes, good girl. Wait. Oh, 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 oh. Tick it. We have got some crunchies, dog on fishing, redfish with fennel, grain free dog treats. Cornish made. They're quite big, but they look like they'll snap up into smaller pieces for maybe some training treats. Okay, so she's got here a buffalo ear. I'm not sure how I feel about things like that. And there's also um, 
pig's tails, air dried pig's tails. I don't know. There's been some stuff about um, rawhide and that sort of thing. Oh, oh, oh. Treats. Uh, so I'm going to hold off. Says they're natural, says they're healthy. Uh, the pigtail does say um, it's a natural bone product, so it may splinter and you should supervise your dog at all times. The buffalo ear has been repackaged by Wolfbox. Mm. Now these ones I know she loves. These are the Nature's Menu Original with Chicken Meaty Treats. They are our go-to training treat because we can tear them up into little pieces and feed them to her a little bit at a time. Loopy, what are you doing? Ooh, dental sticks. You love a nice dental stick, don't you? At the moment we feed Whimsy's dental sticks uh, for extra small dogs. And she loves them. Absolutely loves them. These are grain free again. That's nice. They've taken into account that I've asked for grain free. Four in there, so they look slightly chunkier than the Whimsy's ones. We've also got some Cooper & Co Natural Treats Green Free Simply Baked Lamb Biscuits. And they're shaped like uh, little dog bones, made with real lamb, made in Britain. 44% lamb, nice. No grain, wheat, corn, soy, dairy or eggs, only the good stuff. Last but not least is an abomination. What is this abomination cake cake? I, no, I don't know. Wait. <laughs> it is something from Huggle Hounds. Not heard of them before. It is a uh, demon dragon. No, what is it? It's like a Dragon hog? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, pull the tags off. Oh no, can you wait? Oh. Now she's just had a toy a bit like this that squeaks on the squeak and the come back in air. Um, and she. Excuse you. She destroyed its nose, so we had to take it away. Wait! Good girl. Good girl. Take it. What does it do? Yeah. Ooh. They roll kind of erratically as well, so they're lots of fun because they keep moving even after she's stopped poking it. start with the Cooper & Co natural treats and just see if we can get her to play. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Good girl. Sit. Yes. Good girl. Watch me. Yes. Take it. They're quite chewy, aren't they? Lie down. Good girl. Roll over. Ah uh ah. -uh. Roll over. Lie down. Look. Nearly. Come here. Sit. Lie down. Roll over. Ah uh ah. -uh. Roll over. Yeah. 
I need more practice at that. Sit. That's lying down. Sometimes she preempts the the instruction. So you have to be careful to mix up what you're asking her to do because sometimes you'll be asking her to excuse me. So she'll think because you've asked her to sit and then lie down, you then want her to roll over. So you have to be quite careful to actually give her the instruction. And if she goes too far and does the next bit, <laughs> remind her that you only asked her to do one thing. Katie? You didn't even look at me. Sit. Lie down. There you go. And over. Whee! Come on in. And up. Good girl. Sit. Uh-uh. Sit. Sit. So I'm going to open one of these gone fishing treats now and try and show you one of Katie's tricks. Which is going to be sitting and waiting, isn't it? Yes. Good sitting and waiting. Shape like the little fishes. Wait. And we're going to play cups. Or oh, find the queen. That one. Uh -uh, wait. Uh -uh. Oh, you little monkey. Wait. You have to wait until the game starts, don't you? And then you watch. And where she goes. Nobody knows. Ah uh ah! -uh. Wait. Find it. Find it. Yay! She did try all of the cups before she finally got to it, but hey, she found it. Sit and wait. She knows what cups means. So, there we go. Move it round. And then we will say, find it. But then she'll try all the other cups just to make sure. What I'd like is for her to uh, use her nose a bit more. But you had it. Good girl. Wait. There it is. Oh, wait. Find it. Oh. oh, she went straight to it. Hey. Definitely finding little bits of fluff from the sheep already. It's a pity, but not surprising. Sheep's so cute. Ah! It's kind of got a, ooh, a crinkle and a honker. Bye bye. The Crunchies Dog on Fishing Redfish with fennel crunchies, 75 grams. Looks like they retail for 2.99 for a pack. A hundred gram box of the super dental sticks with kale and apple. They appear to be 3.99 for a box. The Nature's Menu chicken treats, which are our go-to training treats, retail for around two pounds 19 
a pack. The Cooper & Co Lamb Simply Baked Treats retail for about £2.85. The 120 gram pack of Hollings Pig's Tails seems to retail for £1.99. There's no real information on the Buffalo Ear, but it looks to me as if they could be about 70 pence each. And it says buffalo products high in protein, great dog treat, leaner and lower in saturated fat than beef and pork, great source of heart protective omega-3. What I want to know is whether this is um, similar to feeding raw hide products, which I know there are, there can be issues with. The yellow curly pets lamb I've found from anywhere about nine pounds something to five pound fifty. We'll have to see how it does. I'm a bit, a bit worried about the fluff just coming out. And this is the Hucklehounds extremely durable and squeaky rough tex dragon knotty large blue and it retails for £2.78 and I would just like to point out that she has already bitten the horns off it it says extremely durable Kate Mouse look what you've done oh dear so we've already got quite a bit of damage on this one and it's filled with some weird stuff. Okay. No, I can't have it. So a few things to wrap up with. Um, it is a UK box. It did come very quickly. I think I ordered it on Monday and it arrived on Thursday, which that's very good. Certainly in the current um, climate we've got with deliveries and things taking very long time. So yeah, that's good. Um, I'm not sure about the range of products that it included. I, I guess I, I should have said I don't really want things like pig's tails and ears and things. But hey, that's personal preference. Um, that's completely my choice and my mm. about those sorts of things. Yeah. Um, she may enjoy them. And we will have to supervise her with them. The toys, well, heck, she destroyed her dragon within half an hour. And I, if she'd enjoyed the lamb more, I think that would have got destroyed fairly quickly too. She has some toys that she's absolutely obsessed with and, and she can't be without. And there's some toys that she vehemently hates and is actively afraid of. And I we'll do you a bit of footage of one of those things because it's funny but yeah <laughs> So would I buy Katie a wolf box again? I don't know. Um, the trouble is there's so many products out there on the market. It's very difficult to test everything and see what it is that your pet might like. But also you know your pet, so you know whether it's likely to destroy a toy within five minutes or not. Oh, good girl. You may also have very personal choices about what you feed your dog. And although I thought I'd said the right sorts of things, no, I didn't. I just said no wet food. I didn't say no rawhide products. I could have done. 
and I'm sure they would have accommodated that absolutely fine. They certainly stuck with my grain free and no wet food request. So that was lovely. You can also be a bit more specific with your box. I went for a random one, but you can curate it a little bit more, I understand. I haven't looked into that. And maybe that's the way to go. But again, you know your dog. You know what they're likely to enjoy. You know what they're going to destroy within five minutes. And you pet your money. It takes your choice. And it is nice to try different things. Things that maybe you wouldn't always pick up in the shop. Maybe you stick with your regular things that you always know. But actually sometimes, especially with training, you need something that's a little bit higher value. So it's useful to have those sorts of things in your arsenal of training treats. Easy. Right, that's it for this week's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to rate, share and subscribe to me here on YouTube. And until next time, bye.